Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Para mí, yo no me voy a hacer el adi de mi lugar. Yo ya sé que suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Burmese tofu made with chickpeas. There are so many delicious culinary creations to explore. You will be amazed at what you can create. Burmese chickpea tofu, part two of two. Vegan shang tofu sock, tofu salad, and vegan shang tofu jaw, fried tofu. Watch on to find out more. Vegan, the best thing you can do for yourselves and for the world. When someone thanks you in Kachin State, Myanmar, you may reply by saying "Rai Law" in the Kachin language. This means you are welcome. I am in Zali. We are truly fortunate to be living on this beautiful planet that we share with our co-inhabitants, and it is our duty to care for and protect it. The loving Kachin people are thankful that your noble vegan way of life will preserve the planet and all its beauty for future generations to come. Welcome to our show, Burmese Chickpea Tofu Part Two of Two: Vegan Shan Tofu Zhou or Tofu Salad and Vegan Shan Tofu Gua or Fried Tofu. Myanmar, also known as Burma, is home to many diverse ethnic groups. The street foods of Myanmar are a wonderful mixture of culinary tastes from many ethnic cultures, influenced by flavors, ingredients, and cooking techniques of its neighboring countries, such as India, China, and Thailand. Many of these street foods are naturally already vegan, as they use only plant-based ingredients. Or if not, they can be veganized effortlessly. In this two-part show, we are thrilled to share with you a popular tofu dish, also written as topu, that originated in the Shan State, located in the northeast of Myanmar, called Shan tofu or Burmese tofu. Unlike most tofu that is produced from soybeans, this one is made from chickpea flour or dried chickpeas. Chickpea is the second largest legume crop in Myanmar. It is a nutritional powerhouse that has many health benefits, with about 19% protein in dry beans and about 10% after boiling. Although it lacks two essential amino acids, methionine and cysteine, you can simply eat it together with some rice or a variety of plant-based foods to get all the nine essential amino acid building blocks for protein synthesis in your body. Now we will first make Burmese or Shan tofu. We showed you how to use dried chickpeas in part one of this show. Today we will use chickpea flour. Here we have two cups of chickpea flour in the bowl. Add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of turmeric, and mix well. If you prefer firmer tofu, you can mix a spoonful of corn flour into the batter. Gradually add 800 milliliters of water into the bowl and continue thoroughly stirring until there are no more lumps in the chickpea batter. If you use besan flour, it is a lot finer and needs less water. The turmeric gives the tofu a beautiful bright yellow color and has health benefits such as boosting the immune system and is anti-inflammatory. Once the chickpea batter is thoroughly mixed, you can pour it through a sieve to remove any large pieces of unground chickpea batter. 
then leave the batter to stand for one to three hours to give time for the chickpea flour to fully absorb the water. Next, we will prepare some chili soy sauce. Cut two chili peppers crosswise into small pieces and mix them in a bowl containing two tablespoons of soy sauce. We use Royal Black Soybean Sauce from Light Light Industry Limited, a Loving Hut vegan food company. This chili soy sauce goes very well with our Shan fried tofu as a dipping sauce. We also use it as dressing for our Shan tofu salad. We will also slice two pieces of large chili to use for our Shan tofu salad. First, cut the chili peppers in half lengthwise. Remove the seeds and then cut them into thin strips. Next, we will cook the chickpea batter to make the shan tofu. Give the rested chickpea batter a good stir, then pour it into a deep pan. Turn on the stove to start cooking for between 8 to 10 minutes. We use low heat so the batter will not become lumpy right away, easier to work with. Stir the batter continuously, and after 3 minutes, it starts to thicken as the water begins to evaporate. The warm tofu we made in part 1 of this show is ready when the batter starts to become a little sticky. But today's recipe requires a longer cooking time. Keep stirring the batter so that it does not stick to the bottom of the pan and press to dissolve any lumps that form. This will ensure that the batter will have a silky smooth consistency when done. If the evaporation rate is too fast, turn off the stove and continue stirring thoroughly. In about 10 minutes, the chickpea batter will become creamy, smooth, and very sticky. The consistency is like this. It is time to remove it from the pan, scoop it into a mold, and spread the cooked batter evenly over the top of the mold. Then leave it aside to cool and set. Vegan, because we want our children to obey God's commandments. Gracious viewers, we will take a moment to pray and give thanks for all the blessings that God gives us. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Welcome back to our show, Burmese Chickpea Tofu, Part 2 of 2, Vegan Shan Tofu Stok or Tofu Salad, and Vegan Shan Tofu Gua or Fried Tofu. Our Shan Tofu has cooled down already. We have removed it from the mold by turning it upside down. We will use some of the tofu that's for deep frying and some for making tofu salad. For the deep fried tofu, cut the tofu into 3 cm by 5 cm rectangles with a thickness of about 1 cm. Transfer them onto a plate, ready for deep frying. To make our shan tofu salad, we will cut the rest of the tofu into square shaped sticks that look like potato chips. To deep fry the shan tofu, turn on the heat to medium high and add vegetable oil into a deep frying pan. Wait till the oil is heated to a sufficiently high temperature before frying. When tiny bubbles appear in the oil, drop a small piece of tofu into it. If the tofu floats to the surface, it means it is hot enough. Now we can start gently adding the pieces of tofu into the hot oil. Add one piece at a time and bring them close to the oil before dropping them in, so that the oil does not splash and cause any burns. Deep fry for about 3 to 4 minutes, occasionally stirring to prevent them from sticking together. 
When the moisture in the shan tofu is reduced, bubbles in the oil gradually decrease, and it's time to flip over the tofu and continue frying till they turn golden brown. When the tofu turns golden brown, use a pair of chopsticks or tongs to retrieve them onto a plate. Next, we will prepare some sesame chili oil in a bowl containing one teaspoon of sesame seeds, one teaspoon of chili flakes, and one teaspoon of paprika. Add some of the hot oil from the frying pan. The fragrance of sesame and chili can trigger one's appetite. Mix well, and our sesame chili oil is now ready. Place the deep-fried tofu on top of fresh salad leaves. Next, we will make the shan tofu salad. Into a bowl, add some fresh shredded cabbage, coriander, deep-fried shredded cabbage, crushed peanuts, lemon juice, palm sugar syrup. Sesame chili oil and soy sauce. Add the shan tofu sticks into the bowl. Top with some sliced red chili pepper and drizzle some more sesame chili oil. Finally, garnish with some coriander leaves. This shan tofu salad is an example of a typical Burmese cuisine, characterized by its sour, spicy, and salty tastes. We have finished preparing our shan tofu salad. This is our traditional Burmese shan tofu salad and deep-fried tofu. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the vegan shan tofu, the ingredients are two cups or 180 grams of chickpea flour or basan flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, 800 milliliters of water, one tablespoon of corn flour, optional. For the chili soy sauce, the ingredients are two tablespoons of soy sauce or royal black soybean sauce from Light Light Industry Limited, a Loving Hut vegan food company. Two chili peppers sliced. For the sesame chili oil, the ingredients are one teaspoon of roasted sesame seeds, one teaspoon of chili flakes, one teaspoon of paprika, three tablespoons of hot vegetable oil. For the deep fried shan tofu, the ingredients are shan tofu, vegetable oil for deep frying, some salad greens for garnishing. For the vegan shan tofu salad, the ingredients are shan tofu. Some deep fried shredded cabbage, some fresh shredded cabbage, some chopped fresh coriander, two tablespoons of crushed roasted peanuts, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of palm sugar syrup, two tablespoons of Loving Hut black soybean sauce, some sliced fresh chili pepper, some sesame chili oil. My health is much better with the vegan diet. My previously deficient vitamins B12 and D return to normal levels with decrease in stress and improvement of sleep quality. Costas Maravillas, Vegan. Noble viewers, we have come to the end of our culinary trip to Myanmar, and we hope you have enjoyed the show. Impress your friends with some of these delicious and spicy vegan Burmese tofu recipes that are healthy and kind. Up next is Supreme Master Ching Hai's plea for humans to awaken and know right from wrong, Part Seven of Seven on Between Master and Disciples. Right after noteworthy news, our faith and trust in God will see us through life's bumpy journey. May God's grace be felt by us all. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com/veg and suprememastertv.com/schedule.